To get the full strength trophy, you need to have Duke and Demir stay with the crew and Alyosha can't get wounded. So each of these takes place across three different chapters. The first chapter we're going to look at is Volga. And this is where you can have Duke join you. Now it'll end one of two ways. Either he'll get shot or he'll jump onto a train with you. So how do you get him to jump on the train? How do you get him to join the crew? Well, basically we can't kill any cult members in Volga. So at the church, we're going to stealthily get out and get to the little boat. Well, when I say stealth, I mean I'm just not gonna kill anybody. Uh, I'm playing this on an easier difficulty just so I can rush through this video for you. So you don't have, it would take an hour and a half if I did everything in complete stealth on a harder difficulty. But basically you have to do this without killing anyone. You can knock people out as I'm going to do here with the square button. If I hit triangle, it would kill them. So I'm just going to speed run right to the little boat and get out of here. Basically, I haven't hurt any of the cult members. It's not their fault. They're part of the cult. And that is the wrong turn. It's over here somewhere. That's the window. So we're going to go through this entire chapter without killing any of the cult members. So this is really the first critical point. At that church, escape without killing anyone. Whether you do it stealthily or you just kind of run past everyone as I just did. All right, so next up, you're going to be uh, having to steal this boat. This is towards the end of the chapter. Now, before you got to this point, you would have had to have stolen the rail car and taken it to a bandit camp. Killing those bandits is fine, open season on them, but then you're gonna have to come and steal this boat to get to the very end of the chapter. So we're gonna do this without killing anyone. Once again, I'm just going to speed run past everyone as best I can, which apparently is not very good, but eventually I'll get there. As soon as you enter the door at the end of this, it triggers a cutscene. Again, if you're playing on a harder difficulty, you're going to have to be a little bit more stealthy. You can knock people out. You cannot kill them, though. And as far as getting the good ending, that's really tied to you doing a non-lethal playthrough. So you always want to avoid killing anyone, any humans at least. You can The mutants and animals, fair game. All right, so now at the very end of the Volga chapter, we need to get to the leader's room without killing anyone once again. So I'm, it's basically broken into two sections. Uh, this section here you got to reach an elevator lift and then the final section to get to the leader's room so i'm doing my best here to actually do this stealthily and i do pretty good here at the uh the first part again if you're playing on a harder difficulty it's going they're going to spot you but you can always do this during nighttime nighttime is much 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 easier to, to stealth of course make sure you don't have your flashlight on you don't want any any trouble there so you saw I just knocked out that guy. Again, you don't want to kill anyone. So once I'm up here, I'm basically going to get to a locked door. At that point, I decided to just go hot. There's a lock you have to break. Uh, you can break. The alternate path, if you want to do it and remain in stealth, would be to jump to a rowboat that's hot, hanging on the side of the ship. And then jump back onto the ship, which would be just ahead. And you see the rowboat just ahead on the right-hand side. So again, to have Duke survive and have him join the team, uh, you're going to have to do a stealth approach, when, especially when escaping from the church, stealing the, uh, the ship, the barge or whatever, and then entering the cult leader's base, which we're about to do here. And I'll let this play out. If you failed, he'll uh, Duke will have been shot. If you succeeded, he'll jump to the train. So you got me, damn heretics! You took Katya, and now you have me. Damn, you are quicker too. Oh, just passing through the last two peacefully, our guys in one shoot. We've been easy on you people the whole time, and Katya asked us to take her along herself. Do you get me? Sure thing. First, you kill off the local cutthroats, and then you switch to us. Will you kill elders and children too? Or have you drunk enough blood already? Leave us for good now. God may punish you for your sins, but my responsibility is to tend my flock. That's a good boy. Hear me, brothers! Hold your fire! You hear me? Alex, come you 
look at everyone who shoots! Well, I did all I could. Just don't shoot. And tell the driver to keep it slow. The bridge is in shambles. So don't stop, or the bridge might collapse. You are not to jump here. We the reached an the agreement. They will let us through if we don't shoot and move forward. Don't stop. I repeat, do not stop. Over. Artyom, let's jump! Well, that's a job well done, huh? <laughs> All right, so we're going to head over to the Caspian chapter. Now here, Demir is going to make a choice at the very end, whether to stay behind or to join you. So we're going to get him to join us to get the full strength trophy. And this is mostly dependent on how you treat the slaves. We need to free slaves and we can't harm them. I'm also going to show you the photo. I'm going to get the photo for uh, Giol and bring it back to her. I don't know if that's tied to the uh, Demir's decision at the very end i'm just showing you exactly what i did now outside the lighthouse here as we've gone through the the cave system which by the way i didn't kill anyone there i'm going to just knock out these people here there's some slaves the slaves don't have a choice they're fighting for a cause that they don't necessarily believe in so i'm just going to knock people out and that'll be uh the primary theme to this uh chapter is don't hurt any slaves and we're also going to free four different slaves. So I'm gonna do the minimum amount of stuff in this to get Demir to join us. So we're gonna go into the lighthouse, do our thing, head down into the bunker. Now I'm gonna get the photo for Giol. And you're gonna find that when you're trying to get to the ventilation shaft, you're gonna climb through that in order to get to a map room. So down here, we're supposed to turn right, but instead we're gonna go through this door at the back left and there's going to be a photo that you wanna pick up. We'll give that to Giol at the very end of this. Once you're taking the elevator back up, you'll hand it to her. Again, I don't know if that's 100% tied to it or not, but you know, do it. It's easy. All right, so the next thing, uh, when you're traveling back to camp from the lighthouse, if you take the obvious road uh, that'll go straight there, you're going to see Anna over here on the left-hand side. She's trying to wave us down. We're going to stop. We're going to talk to her. She's going to give you the locations of three various side missions. Only one of them do we have to do, but we'll do that later. So next up, we're at the uh, top left corner of the map. We're heading up to the Oasis, and we're going to do this in complete stealth because there is one slave up there we need to free, and I'm going to do a quick save. Always do that, by the way. That way you can always revert to it if you screw up. Now, once I'm up here, if you take the bucket lift, you'll be here. I'm going to craft some throwing knives. Now, there's one slave we need to free in the locked cage. There are also many other slaves around this area. Do not let them get injured. So I'm going to do what I do best and just kind of speed run, sprint past as many people as I can. But first, I'm going to go free the slaves. So I crafted a throwing knife. Now, why did I do that? Well, because there's a dog over here, and I don't want to shoot my gun. I don't want anyone to hear me. So I crafted three of them. I don't know why you would normally need three, but it takes me three knives to kill this dog. There he goes. We're still in stealth. So I'm going to go over here, unlock this cage. The dog was right in front of it. That's why we had to take it out. Melee the lock and free the slave. That's the first of actually five slaves that we're going to free here in this chapter. All right, so now that I've done that, I just need to open the gate to the uh, front door. You can do this in, stealth, in complete stealth if you want. Or you can just try to sprint past enemies if you're playing on an easier difficulty. You might play on an easier difficulty if you're just trying to get this trophy. Of course, I see a dog there, so I said, screw it, let's just go. Now, because I freed the slave in the cage, and I'm about to open the gate in, without firing my weapon, that means that I didn't hurt any slaves, and that's the most important thing here. It'd be easy to accidentally hurt a slave. And there's two guys here. Again, I could just knock them out if I wanted to, but I just chose to kind of bull rush right through them. So you get to the end here, you're gonna pull this little lever, and the gate's gonna open up. The water tanker truck is going to be able to escape. We're gonna jump on top of it. Now this next bit after this, you're gonna get ambushed outside. You are free to shoot people there or just hide behind a vehicle and wait for the rest of your teammates. Maybe they'll take them out. So I just wanted to point that this out. 
All right, so now we're going to go and do that little side mission. This is the shipwreck. This is one of the three points of interest Anna pointed out to us. When you go inside the ship, go ahead and shoot it up and kill everyone in here. Once you've done that, once you've finished and eliminated everyone, you're going to go up to the control tower here. And right behind it is going to be a, a, a switch here. There are, I believe, three slaves in cages at the very bottom of that ship. They're going to get out. They're going to be happy. They're going to yell freedom. And there's also one more cage at the very back. So if you take the zip line, the gate's already going to be open. If it's not, there's a, a, a switch you can pull here to open it. Now, the only way to get the mirror to join you is if you've taken care of the slave issue. If you freed them all, if you haven't, he's going to stick behind. Of course, if you've hurt slaves, he's not going to join you either. All right, so now we're the, getting towards the very end of the mission here. And we're going to go through this grate. There are going to be slaves through here. So I'm just going to speed run through all of this as fast as I can. Fast enough, they won't see. They won't also shoot you. This guy's going to try coming at me with a hatchet. All right, so in this next room that we come up to, there are going to be some slaves in here. And I'm just going to run straight to the exit. It's going to be pretty easy at this point. Uh, again, just to recap, I got the photo for Giwol. I freed the slaves. I didn't harm any slaves. So by that notion, uh, Demir will join us. You'll know he joins you if he join, uh, hops on the zip line with you. The door's giving. Let's give it a shove, Artyom. people hope. I'll never forget it. But this war has only started for me, and I must see it to the end. The winning end. Uh, let's go, Artyom. Thank you for helping my people. I'm in your debt forever. <laughs> I was so worried. All right, let's head off to the Taiga chapter here. Alyosha is either going to get wounded or he's not at the very end of this chapter. You'll know what result you got. If while zip lining down, if he passes out, if he passes out, he's going to be helped off into the train. If he makes it down on his own two feet and runs into the train, he doesn't get wounded. You've met the qualifications for the full strength trophy. Now, in order to get through this without him getting injured, you have to basically do stealth. You can't harm any of the pioneers. So if you can do this in mostly stealth, you're going to be able to succeed. Now, this clip you're seeing here is actually a series of clips from my forest child trophy the forest child trophy actually requires you to complete the entire taiga chapter without harming anyone or being noticed so if you do that trophy while doing this chapter you will have met the qualifications for alyosha not getting wounded now to actually just get him to safely into the train you can be spotted you can knock people out but you don't want to hurt the pioneers. That's important. So if we're going to do this without getting spotted in complete stealth, uh, you see that I'm doing this at nighttime without a flashlight, obviously. There's a huge difference between daytime and nighttime. You can sneak around much, much, much easier at nighttime. As you can see here, this is the children's camp. 
All you need to do is make it to this ladder up to the top of the tower, and then we're going to zip line down. I did not hurt anybody here. You can go through here, a normal stealth, knocking people out. But this is just one way to do it without actually having to do anything. All right, so the next section is a, a village here, abandoned camp. Uh, you're going to have a bunch of pirates. To be careful here, we're just going to sneak past everybody. I'm going to drop down here, and then we're going to climb up a ladder. Again, if you're going for the Forest Child Trophy, you will meet the qualifications. Now, it's very important uh, with this, or really any of the chapters, as if you're trying to get all the characters, is to frequently make quick saves, especially with these stealthing sections. As you can see, this dude's going to be blind. He's actually not the most blind person we'll come across. It'll be a, a guy coming up here in just a moment. But if you can use that quick save, every you can use it every 30 seconds if you want. If you get past one person... Uh, you can do a quick save here, and, and again in, in another minute. Take a, take advantage of that. That makes doing any stealth section much easier. Although I do believe on Ranger difficulty, that's completely uh, not possible. And that was the guy who's the most blind person. So now we are going to the zip line out of here. Now there's only three main sections you really have to worry about. Uh, that first section is children's camp, this uh, bandit camp here, and then there's going to be a pirate camp uh, later on where you have to steal the boat, which we'll get to in just a second. But it's very critical that you don't hurt pioneers. There are pioneers, there's pirates, there's a bunch of people mixed in, so just don't hurt anybody and you'll be fine. Again, playing it on an easier difficulty is going to come in handy as well. All right, so now at that pirate camp here, we are going to stay along the left side. We will find a little boat. We are going to take that little boat. I think a snake just bit me. We're going to take this little boat here. Again, nighttime is going to make this a lot easier. There's a guy above me. He'll spot you. But in nighttime, they're, they're, they're really blind. So once you get here, this is where you got to pull the switch to open the gate. There's a guy there to the right. Doesn't see me. We're going to get up to the second floor here. We're going to pull a switch. And then after this section, after this, you're going to go to a place where you're going to meet the crazy admiral. You're going to go through some bunkers with a bunch of spiders. But this is really it as far as any pioneers or anything like that. So you got that guy. He's going to go into that room, come out. When he comes out, just go and pull the switch, hop back into the boat, sail to safety. So after this section, you will met the qual uh, qualifications for Aliosha not getting wounded. The rest of the chapter is you're pretty much free to kill anything. Because again, bugs, mutants, and all that, fair game. So as I mentioned at the very end, after you defeat the, the boss, uh, survive that fight, Aliosha will either zipline safely or he'll pass out. So I want to thank you guys for watching. If you want to just watch how this ends, feel free. If you found the video and the guide helpful, hit that thumbs up button. And of course, subscribe. we found along the way are of any help now. The illness has progressed too far. Come! We all remained silent while the Aurora was running along the poison sea held at bay. 